All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? We're back in Turlock. I love Turlock. Um, such a nice place, and this locker right here has been such a fun locker. Trying to get inside because it is windy here. Try to stay out of the wind as much as I can, but wow, this one, I've only been here once. I bought three units here at a live auction a few months ago, believe it or not. I've rented it. I came here a couple weeks ago, no, maybe three weeks ago, Whew, maybe a month ago, and uh, spent one day processing it, going through it. So I'm back, I'm ready, I'm excited, and wow, it's dirty. I paid 2,700 for this thing for one reason, and that's because it's been sitting for 25 years, and it's got a lot of bins, a lot of bins, as you can see, lots and lots of bins. Over here, a little bit of furniture, but mostly bins. This thing was packed to the door, and uh, we've carved out a pretty good space here. Found great stuff. Still haven't opened that safe that we found, if you can believe that. I had a thought, maybe I'm gonna find the key in here. Maybe I'm gonna find the key so I don't have to wreck the safe. Uh, so if we don't find it today, then we're gonna bust it open. But anyways, mission number one. You see this trailer right here? This is not, not empty, not a lot of room here to work but a lot of this stuff here is garbage and some of the stuff behind the tables there is garbage so real quick i'm going to take the good stuff off put the bad stuff on go to the dump unload it come back and get to work you guys don't have to sit through that boring stuff i'm gonna do it right now and then we'll have some fun just like that it all disappeared boom looking good right everything all the junk came out and maybe a little bit more too <laughs> i was pretty liberal about what i left at the dump but and then i packed everything back in not even half full Here's our locker, looking pretty, pretty good. Actually, this box is almost ready to go. I just wanna put a few more things in, but yeah. Ready for some action. Bunch of empties over here, empty garbage can, empty boxes. Now there's a big stack of boxes or bins rather, like this here. I went through it as fast as I could because I wanted to get to the dump. Right now it's 115. Ah, that took me probably about three hours. Three hours to take all the stuff off, put all the junk on, put all the stuff in here and then go through a big stack here and a couple boxes of books that was right here. What I pulled out here was some stuff that I thought was a little bit more interesting and I wanted to take a closer look at. This is funny because we found this one boot last time. <laughs> the other one in a different box and I brought it to the flea market and somebody took it uh, and I know who it was so I'll bring that to the market and try to get it to him because he collects military stuff. Look at how neat this is. It's a little ca cannon, like a cast iron piece right here. It's got the hole right there which makes me think it might actually be functioning. It might actually work. This is wood with all this metal. Very cool piece. Very cool. Not sure what the rope's for. Uh, I don't know. Neat. Look at this bumper sticker I found. Do not disturb. I'm disturbed enough already. Some vintage bumper stickers. Ouch. Oh, it's a bandit. 1988. Look at that, guys. 1988. If idiots could fly, this place would be an airport. <laughs> Gun control. Hitting where you aim. That's pretty funny. All right. So he's got some paperwork here for ham radio stuff. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, this is kind of neat. Look at this operating manual. This stuff might be worth a little bit, so I'm gonna put that aside. I'll go through it later. All right, let's see what this is. I know it's a pen. Uh, it's just a, it's, it's, it's all right, it's metal, but whatever. This is Allen on it. Oh, wow. Look at this, like a portable saw. I've never seen one of those before. I thought it was like an Allen wrench. Portable saw, that's cool. I think maybe keep it in your car if you're up in the mountains because if a tree ever falls and you need to like cut it and move it, I don't know, I, I can see that. A little wallet, no money, no money. Bi oh, look at this Bible. Look at the zipper pull right here, it's a cross. Be gentle, it looks a little bit older. Yeah, that's nice. The outside is dirty, I can clean it up. Definitely seems to be a little bit older. It's a little bit of jewelry, costume. I think these are uh, buttons or something, I don't know. That's a stone in it right here, this moon. That's actually kind of a cool brooch right there. Here's what appears to be a lid for a jewelry box or something. It might be silver plated. And I found this piece floating around with some paperwork. Not silver, probably fake turquoise, but I don't know. A little bell. Found a dime and a Kennedy half dollar. It's a bicentennial one. Kind of dancing around this thing right here, but let's look at this. This is a, I think this is like a ham radio, right? A transceiver. Yaisu FT-757GX. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, this might have some value, guys. It definitely looks a little bit older. It's got a headset, and you see the 
the speaker foam, the ear foam right there is gone. It looks like it's missing a part right there. This might not be worth too much. Actually, maybe that's not part of it. I don't know. It's tingled around there, but it's got this. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. And then we found a bunch of rocks. And they might be special. I don't know. Look at that. Of all these, the one I thought was the most special, most interesting is this. That might be a piece of dinosaur poop. I don't know. Maybe it's fossilized dinosaur poop. This looks like fossilized wood right there. Maybe not. No, maybe it's just rock. I don't know. Look at this. Ooh, this feels slippery. Whatever that stone is. It's, oh, is this turquoise? Huh. I don't know. That could be a big piece of turquoise, maybe. This looks like a little amethyst. Look at this color in this thing. I don't, these are pretty cool rocks. And then a bunch of little polished stones right there. All right, that was all I found. No, I didn't find the frosty cold beverage in here. Believe it or not, I brought that myself. I dropped one thing and forgot about it. Look at this little pin. It looks old. It's got some kind of a coin on there. I'm not sure what coin that is. Yeah, that's, that's kind of neat. And then just to mention all the books that I went through, I have this bin full and just a few right here. I pulled out anything that I thought would sell and what did I think would sell? Basically any of this new agey type mystical stuff that seems to sell well. And then any like frontiering books like outdoorsmen, survivalist type books like homesteading, basically homesteading books. I kept all those. So we'll figure out how to sell those, but all the other ones, they're gone. Where'd they go? Uh, don't ask. All right, but let me... Because <laughs> some of you complain. Man, man, you went to do the dog, man. Enough. All right, they don't sell at the market. And I got to make... I, I can't be running all over donation, you know, whatever. Charity. Dump, no, they, uh, wait, a lot of that went to the dump. All right, guys, but some of you who get it are curious about the important questions, which is how much did the dump cost? So... I had just over a ton of junk that went to the dump. That's not just from this uh, locker. It was also from the last one, the dollar locker that had a bunch of broken furniture and stuff in it. So of those two lockers, 63 bucks. It's not bad, right? And I got rid of all that big stack of mattresses that was right here. Four mattresses. One of them was a lift bed, weighed a ton. N not literally, but you know, um, one ton of stuff, 2000 pounds gone, 63 bucks, not too bad. All right, guys, now the fun part. I've done all the hard work. To get to this which is going through boxes yeah thousands of dollars spent hours on the road and at the, the uh, dump and now fun part so is this the fun part <laughs> Kenmore Kenmore sewing machine we definitely know they're into sewing oh what's this A little patch right there alien 8 what that's kind of neat all right um the Kenmore the Kenmore it's dusty and dirty, but that doesn't mean anything. It could be a nice unit. I don't know. Oh, Singer needles. That's the kind of needles we don't mind finding in a locker. Sewing stuff. We already found quite a bit of sewing stuff. Some of it we put aside to sell in our live auctions. Uh, some of it. Will I put this stuff aside? Eh, probably not. Probably not. Mm -mm. Nah. Nah. Oh, that's that go to the market. Oh man. This looks like another book. Book bin. Let's see. Yep. I like this though. Knife and tomahawk throwing. That's cool. See that's the kind of thing we'll put aside. Oops. Oh man, this kind of stuff. Feeling good in the mood. The new mood therapy. Nobody cares. Cheese making, maybe. Back roads of California. Nope. That's not making the cut. Beyond belief. This guy bought a lot of books. I think he was very well read. He, used to, he was into some kooky stuff. World's favorite recipes. Over 100 tested dishes from the United Nations. That's cool. I think that's cool. What do I know? Spells of Wonder. See this kind of weirdo stuff? Probably sells. I think that was a fiction, but the... the what is this? Hysop? Hyssop? Whoops. Popped right off. Okay, between the lines, the mystery of the giant ground drawings of ancient Nazca, Peru. That is really cool. Really cool. Sydney Omar, my world of astrology. Sex signs. Seven spiritual laws of success. He had a lot of books on success too. Um, hmm. oh, and then look at this Harry Potter. 
That's kind of funny because I do think the lady, so if you guys didn't watch the last video on this locker, the guy was a total outdoorsman in survivalist in Homesteader and his wife, I think she thought she was a witch. She has lots of witchcraft stuff. So look at this, the witch book encyclopedia of witchcraft, Wicca and neo-paganism. Okay, so that's kind of stuff. I mean, guys, I know we got a lot of comments on the last one. Oh, don't sell it, blah, blah, blah. You know, like I said last time, I don't, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I don't believe in any of this stuff. I'm only putting stuff side stuff that people buy at the flea market. It's going to the flea market. Wicca for life. But I don't believe any of it. If you guys believe this stuff, good for you. It doesn't really fit into uh, my religion or anything, so. But everybody's free world. Free world, do whatever you want. Do what you want to. <laughs> Look at that thing, a little keychain. I, I definitely am in enjoying this locker because you just never know what to expect. There's so much randomness here. Random, random, random. All right guys, this one looks like books. This one looks like books. There's a lot of books. That one's video VHS. Let's find one that's more fun. Mo fun. Come on. Mo fun. Let's go. This one's a little different. What is that? Okay. Yeah, like this. Motor, electric motor test and repair. Kind of stuff like if we ever have an EMP hit and we lose all of our internet and everything. These books are going to be quite desirable. There's a bunch of postcards right here, never used. It's a headset, brand new. What is this? What the heck is this? Antenna rotator. Oh, all right. Paint brushes. Oh boy, I bet those are past their prime now. This foam's got to be deteriorating. Oh, look at that. That is that's funny. Oh, it almost worked for a second there. You see that? Huh. Lights flash for just a second. That's a candy bowl for Halloween or something. Yeah, there's a bunch of old photos, looks like from the 70s. They don't want them back. The guy moved out of state. He does not want the stuff. There's no way to get it to him. I already asked the managers. He, he's, he, I, uh, for, uh, the way it sounds, he's not particularly upset about losing it. He's just like been paying on this thing for decades and he moved out of state and he probably originally thought he'd come back and get it and then uh, just never was able to. So he's just like, eh, just let it go. He's probably like, I haven't used it for 10 years, I don't need it. I don't know what that is. Huh. Oh, that's cool. A little counter. What is this? I think it's like a... a it says Bishop Graphics. A bunch of drafting stuff in there. I almost feel like that's almost like a Dremel kind of rotating tool. Um, I don't know. Drawing stuff in here though. <laughs> Look at this. I think those might be expired. I don't think you should use those. <laughs> Tape recorder. Beer goggles. That's funny. Look at their little goggles. What is this? What's this, guys? Huh. What in the world is that for? I don't know, but it's got a long old cord with it. How does that play into it? Maybe it's a costume? I don't know. It's weird. Next box. Oh, jeez. Spider webs all up in this one. Yeah, there's a halogen bulb right there. I mean, a, a fluorescent bulb. That's a nice, I think, an ice scraper. There's empty ketchup. Okay. A lot of garbage. What's this? Artograph. Super AG1000. This is some sort of a projector, I think, right here. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna have to look that guy up. I doubt it's got too much value, but this what the heck that is random that is really random this is a cool tin though okay <laughs> so weird i love this locker i spent 2700 on it i ran it for three months i think i already said that but it's 210 bucks a month that wasn't really the plan but right after i bought it i got um 
that toy collection and that's kept me really busy so it's no problem I'm not I'm not upset about it it's working out pretty good really some garbage bags the ties Ugh, just dirty in here maps uh, these bins I mean they were nice bins at one point but they are very dirty you see how the nature has gotten into it I think he had it in a barn or a shed somewhere and it, it's yeah it wasn't it was not weather protected cat and mouse or Sylvester Looney Tunes uh, mouse pad oh, man, what's this for oh you this is for a massage table right here that's where you put your face it's it was on sale for $2.50. Don't think anyone's buying that. And that's it for that one. I said that was it, but this says Beyond Top Secret, and that's got me eyes only. What the heck? And he's sticking his tongue. That's got me intrigued, so we're not done with this one yet. But but it's got wet. Secrets by the Thousands by Lester Walker. Harps Magazine, October 1946. So, oh wow, look at this. Too bad it got wet. They're just photocopies, Tesla bulbs. That's neat, neat stuff, but man. So these projectors, they, I mean, look, you saw right here, it's six, he bought it for 16 bucks, but um, they sell for decent. They're 60 bucks, 140 bucks, 70 bucks, 99 bucks, 50 bucks. 20 bucks right there seems cheap, 45, 96, 90. So they're all over the place really, but Definitely some value in it. It needs to be massively cleaned up. Massive, massive cleanup job there. Because it seemed like water infiltrated the box. And I'm saying that because you see the how these are look like they're soaked through at one point. Um I'm kind of leaning towards just it is on sale for three bucks. Kind of leaning towards not listing that on eBay. I don't know guys. What do you think I should do? Yeah, I think I'm gonna let it go kind of thing maybe I don't let it go too cheap go to the market if they're not willing to pay 10 bucks for it maybe I take it home and list it I've done that recently some stuff and I bring it home I list things for 10 uh, uh, if I can't get 10 bucks I bring it home list for 50 on eBay and boom most often it sells the same night twice that's happened to me maybe not same night but within a week it sells for 50 you gotta be smart and I am definitely not desperate I'm willing to sit on stuff for a while Oh man, that thing is roached right here. It's very brittle. It's been wet. Mm. Gosh, look at this. Just fried, rusted through. Nothing's in it, so that's good. Oh man, this stuff's, this stuff's a little grody. This one's definitely been wet. There's a smell of mildew in here. Very strong mildew. Oh man, what's this? Verifone. Hmm. The credit card swiper, but mm, mm, mm. look at the look at that mildew in there. This this has been wet. I'll bring it to the market see if anybody wants it, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Look at this, guys. This all this furniture to me kind of feels like it was stored in a barn. It could just be dusty and spider webby from this locker, but feels like it's been stored in a barn for a while. But look, look at this. This thing's splitting open and. It's full of stuff. Huh, it's taped closed. I'm interested in seeing what that is. Right now, let's get back to these bins. Look at this, guys. Entire bin. Ugh. Full of, uh, well, mostly, like, photo photocopy or printouts of stuff. It's files, but most of it's, like, photocopies. All these, uh, articles and photocopies of books. Uh, this, guy was, this guy was something else. All right, guys, look at this next one. This stuff was in a garbage bag. Photographs, old photographs. Look at this. Oh, look how neat this is. These are some old black and whites. 1941 right there. Oh, I love this stuff. It's been a while since I found old stuff like this. Now, normally we would give these back. But again, the guy said he didn't want anything back. Oh, my goodness. Look at this thing. Wow. This guy's holding some kind of animal fur right there. Oh, it's a postcard? No way. I think it says 1911. I'm not sure. Wow. Wow. These aren't as impressive here. Family shots. Oh, wait. There's a little military. At least somebody's in uniform here. 70s. Oh, that's an old one right here. Wow. 
Nice. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Um, okay, we'll put those aside. I'm not sure what to do with those just yet. Whoa, look at this. Those are this one right here. That one is what an incredible photo. That's incredible. Some kids dressed up in uniform for some band, but wow. That's from Modesto. That's only a couple towns over. How cool is that? That's neat. Hmm. Not too much in that one. Let's see. Oh man, more old stuff. Oh, there's someone in uniform. Oh wow, look at this. Postcard. This is cool stuff, guys. Really cool stuff. Oh, how cool is that? Some kind of costume. These old postcards are so amazing. Oh, there's the mystery spot Santa Cruz. Old postcard, neat. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not going through this thing obviously. Super duper. Oh, there's a tin type, right? I think it's this is actually a sheet of metal tin type right there. Haven't found one of those in a while. Uh, I'll go through this a lot closer later on. 1942. Oh my goodness, special privilege card for medical department technicians. Wow, wartime guys, 1942. So that's what this guy right here is in uniform. Maybe. Almost looks like police uniform though. Okay. Wow, how cool is this? I love it. Um, what I've seen is I'm, we're not going through like super close every single thing that we're finding in here because I just don't have much that much time. This place is an oh that's a neat neat photo a neat frame with this edge right here. Very cool. What am I supposed to do with that though? Dang it! I hate throwing this stuff away, but what am I supposed to do with that? Uh, okay, we'll go through here and see if there's any more old 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 stuff. Uh. But this, uh, this facility is like an hour and 15 minutes from my house. So it's a two and a half hours on the road, plus the time it took me to get all the garbage sorted out and over to the dump. I lost a large part of my day. So I, I gotta be kind of efficient with going through this stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm choosing to dump this on the table so I go through it quicker over the garbage can, but good thing I did. Look at this. What do we got? Nothing. <laughs> There's another one. What do we got? Oh, eh, it's nothing. It's one of these little picture frame things. It's not, it's no gold in that. It might be gold filled, but probably not. What's this? Moon glow. Glow in the dark. Okay, never mind. All right, guys, I worked through a bunch of those. Actually, you see eight totes right there full of books. You see that one right there full of books. These are not the good books. And I think that one's books too. I think I'm just going to start setting the books up here as I go through stuff. So let's get to this. We saw this last time and, um, oh man, it's so cool. Cuckoo clock. And I think we have a big part, I think that sits maybe on top of it ant with like wood antlers and stuff. So definitely looks like a hunter's thing because you see how the rabbit and the uh the fowl right here are upside down and then you got the horn it's all like hunter related stuff it's pretty cool i dig it Ooh, look at that nasty looking spider web right there see that so mm. make sure i don't break anything but i want to see if i can look in here and see, see what we got what do we got oh look at this those are working See that? <laughs> There's the little... Dang it, that was a pendulum. No problem, it's just wood. Um, so this is Regula, R-E-G-U-L-A. Made in Germany. Regula. All right, all right. That's cool. Regula. All right. Okay, let's see if it'll fit in here. Nope. All right. I'll get a bigger bin. Definitely this has got to be cleaned up. I'll get a paintbrush, maybe a little air hose. Psh, psh, blow it out. I don't know what that just was. Not my alarm. All right. Then just below the cuckoo. <laughs> looks like we got a bunch of empty bags. A bunch of junk in here. Junk. Junk box. All right. Just below that. Another pocket knife. I think we found some exactly like that before. Some little identification tags. Model rocket accessories right here. That's kind of cool. Power supplies for Cal Comp. Hmm. Bicycle cable locks, a couple of them. Those go to the flea market. What's this thing? Canon. Ooh. Yeah, this is cool. Got an old 35 millimeter camera, I think. Nice. Sure shot. Supreme. 
That's a nice little camera. I like it. What's this thing? This is another one of those antenna positioners. Second one we found, I think. All right. This one says dome, comma, desk, plans, etc. Looks like a lot of junk to me. Receipts. Some cables. Decent. This could be some plans for his dome house or something. I think he was planning on building one. Super stick lettering there. Oh, yeah. Dome plans. And it's a VHF. That's funny. Yep. And some lumber. Paperwork. Alright, let's see what we got here. Cups, glasses, miscellaneous, kitchen items. That sounds heck of boring. Oh man. That's what it is. Boring. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That's nice. That's like a restaurant uh, sugar dispenser right there. That's cool. I like it. Alright, that'll just go straight to the flea market right there. Alright guys, I finally grabbed a box that's not books. And a little bit more interesting. Here's some kind of wizard dude. The wizard. Made in China, so we'll send that to the flea market. This was interesting though, because look at this. 2009 on these newspapers. Um, and so far I didn't think I had found anything from the 2000s. So if you heard me say earlier, this, this guy's rented the locker for 25 years, which means he started renting it in 1999. I hadn't really found too many items, I didn't think any items actually, in the 2000s. So uh, now we're starting to find stuff a little bit into the 2000s, but definitely if you could tell, so many of these items, vintage, vintage, vintage. All right, there's a little embroidered handkerchief right here. Nice work in that pillowcase. And then a bunch more, looks like embroidered vintage linens or textiles. Uh, it looks like an older troll, but I don't know. It says China. It says the Rust Company. If it says a date on there, I can't see it. But I saw some of these at a garage sale over the weekend, and I was like, oh, those look old. They're cool. And it was 2003, so it wasn't even like that old. But I don't know about that one. This is kind of, I don't know, I just thought it was cool. Handcrafted, copyright 1999, so here we go, yeah. This one, the locker was rented, 1999. I think that's like the tree of life, so maybe there's some kind of fertility thing, I don't know. It's kind of neat. A little pewter, uh, you put the candle right there, and you put maybe a little dish right there, I don't know. Oh, broke it. All right, let's go on the market. <laughs> I thought it was cool, but then it wasn't, thanks to me. There's a crystal. That is neat. Oh, what else is in here? Oh, I swear, I think that's, I think that is, fo nope, never mind. I was going to say fossilized dinosaur poop. Boy, am I wrong. So this looks like that other piece that I thought was cool, but that is, uh, that's some sort of rock. This side's been polished. That is really neat. All right, a couple more rocks. I want a rock. There's, I, I don't, is that a bell? It looks like something we used to hang in there. I think it's like a, like almost like a Tibetan bell or something. Look at how ornate that is. It's pretty. Ooh, what's this? Oh, how cool is this? That's an ashtray. You got the little lip there for holding a cigarette. Coins all around here. A coin in the middle. Mexicanos. United, Unidos Mexicanos. So that's a Mexican coin. And uh, maybe copper? Oh, it looks brass on that side, but it's got the green patina like copper. Yes. There's some sort of a moon. I'm not as impressed with that. This is a neat little box right here. A little crystal. Looks like it used to be a pin. Yeah, I'll just send that to the market. What else we got? Right, photos. Right, photos. Mm -mm. Alright, that's it. Ooh, ooh, witchy woman. Got lots more books. Look at this book. <laughs> Look at this. Visions of the New Millennium Beyond the Horizon. Look at this guy. Walter Mercado. Is that for real? That is hilarious. That's hilarious. Yeah. Look at the dust and dust and dust. Dust on dust. The craft. A witch's book of shadows. Sorry guys. No offense to you witches out there. Earth magic. A book of shadows. That doesn't look so happy. 
Don't worry, guys. I'm not bringing these into my house. All you people are like, you're going to get possessed. Man, these are dirty. I don't believe in any of that. Wicked cookbook. <laughs> Do witches know how to cook? Oh, yeah, that's right. They cook like children or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that's terrible. Terrible to say that. That was, that was a joke with a really dark side. Wiccan healing. Witches brew good spells for prosperity. Oh my god, what a bunch of hogwash. Hogwash. <laughs> I did find Bibles in here too. What a contradiction, huh? I found at least a couple Bibles. You saw one of them, but I found other ones too. What a contradiction. But like I said, this guy was very interesting. And his wife probably interesting too. They were probably good people to have over for dinner. Just because they're trippers. <laughs> they are trippers. They tripping. There's some, some, I don't know, some kind of stuff. <laughs> this is probably for making brews, witches brews. Toads, wart, and service dew. Oh, radio amateurs operating manual. That might be worth a little bit. Send that to the market. Betty Boop stuff. Another Harry Potter, Agatha Christie. I tried to get a chair down. Now this whole thing's falling over. Now what am I gonna do? This one I think broke the bottom, so now it's falling. Oh man, they're all heavy. Oh, man. Dang it. It's just the way it had to be. Try to get just this down. I have a little lunch break. Hmm. Okay. What? Why is this so heavy? Jeez. It's a nice little piece, actually. Just trying to have a little protein bar and a Powerade. Okay. Let's, let's see what the heck is so heavy and is ready to fall off of there here. Ooh, okay. A rat trap right here. Snap. Oh, I see some marbles in here. That's cool. A few marbles. Yeah. They could be old. They could be expensive. Drafting stuff. Some bits. That's nice. Ooh, real nice. Alright, so you know what? It's looking like tools. And that's why it's so heavy. What in the heck? Come on, guys. Really? Really? I'm gonna wrap up a bunch of trash in a towel. That sucks. Actually, there's some bits in there. Too late. It's a nickel. Nickel. Some good bits right there. Lots of little jars. And a bit set right there. That's nice. Yikes. It's kind of a junky box. But I see a lot of stuff that will sell. All right, here's the other one that fell down. This one is even heavier than the last one. Ah, books. Mm, mm, mm. All right, there's some little bit of sewing stuff there. But dang it, there'd be books. Well, needle crafts, sewing books. So is that better? It might be. It might be, it weighs a ton, but I'm gonna throw that on the flea market, on the trailer for the flea market. We'll see if we can sell it. All right, you guys, if you could see, oh, it's getting tight in here, but I have, I've been working like crazy. All of these bins across against the wall here, all go in the dump. This is all garbage. So many, and I have gone through the books, trying to pull out the better stuff. You see just books, 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 books. There's a few bins with other stuff in there. Some of these I'm throwing out simply because I open them and there's black mold. Mold, I mean like bad. I didn't even bother going through those. M many of them smell mildew. That's not the end of the world, but mold is a deal breaker for me. I'm not dealing with that. But now I'm kind of at an impasse here because look at this. Look at the bottom one here. It's been obliterated. It's just like completely smashed. And actually in there, you see that one there, it's smashed up too. Putting heavy boxes of books and files on top of, of uh, maybe not completely full bins, not the best plan. So now when I'm moving this, this thing is starting to give way. 
this stuff's all coming forward it's it's a big old sloppy mess in here so um but yeah i haven't really found very much good stuff guys it's alarming i'm pulling out these fate magazines just because i think they're kind of interesting found an old canteen found a J.R.R. Tolkien book. Just little miscellaneous stuff. A lot of this I found last time uh, in this particular bin. But yeah, I'm not finding very much. But I have also put a fair amount in the trailer. Not a fair amount, but like, see, I've got a wall. Another layer started. Just really that. That's all I've got. I probably have one bin for every five that I put against the wall to go to the dump next time. <sighs> I think that's what I'm gonna do. Next time I come, I'm gonna uh, hopefully come with an empty trailer. And if I have processed enough of this, I'll load it up just like I did this time. I'll load it, go to the dump, come back, probably finish this. This will be three trips done. But right now I gotta figure out how to fill this thing. I'm running out of time. This takes a long time to go through this stuff. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, I got that generator out. I think I'm just gonna take it to the market. I was gonna take my time with it, but oh, I need the stuff to be, be moving. This right here looks kind of interesting though. None of this sounds good. VCR tapes, briefcase, albums, barbecue apron, clarinet music book, but this is the thing. This is marked A8. See, that's marked A4. I think we found better stuff in these boxes. We found one box full of all this hunting stuff. I think in another one, we found the blankets or sheets rolled up with the jewelry box inside. Still got to look at that jewelry box too. But point is, I think this stuff came from the house and it's nicer. And I think the wife packed it. Oh, it says right here, Ivy. Kitchen stuff, Ivy packed. I think she packed these, which makes she did a better job. These, I think, are all stuff that was like in a shed or a barn, which is why they're thrashed. And I think this is stuff that they didn't care about anymore didn't use it this is the stuff that was in the house so with that said let's get in it let's see what it's got we don't have very many of them as you can see compared to the hundreds of totes that we've got yeah this doesn't look so good but that doesn't mean too much it's a nice apron barbecue apron it's cool whatever uh, and this is 2008 so that's kind of interesting out here is 2000 Oh man, look at oh look at this Area 51 UFOs, UFOs. That's kind of funny. Shooting exposition. It's for lanterns right here. Minnow dip net <laughs> fishing. It said albums empty. This is not empty though. This is heavy. Okay, so what is it? Oh yeah, yeah. Look at what's in here. It's so dirty. It's a binder. Drawings of some machine. Cheap, simple, easy to build spinning wheel. Design concepts. That's interesting. I think this guy's pretty smart. Pretty handy. Smart tricks for a wood lathe. Here's the photo albums. Oh, you said they were empty. They're not. Huh. This one is. Another binder. Backpack's heavy. Huh. A little tear right here. What the heck? What is this? It's heavy. What is this? Okay, we've got another binder here. Some nice mechanical pencils here. Go kit for emergency communications. That's neat. Tesla's hidden space propulsion system. Oh, weird. All right, need some more stuff. Just stuff. Let's see, this is a briefcase. Oh, I think it's light. Means I think it's empty. It is. It's kind of nice though. Kind of. He's got. Look, he's got the the number on there. Very smart. All right, let's see what's in these little bags here. There's some old photos, kind of machinery. A little patch. There's a watch. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it's a little old. I don't think that's anything special. We'll send it to the market. To the market. Ooh, that doesn't look so good. Dice. Mm, this is food. Yuck. Okay, what's in here? This one's got some weight. Papers. Some nice gloves. Very nice gloves. Poncho. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Bunch more of those same pocket knives. 
I'm not sure why he had so many of those. Yeah, flashlight still works. There's an old key. Another watch. It said Timex or something, or you know, Seiko something. I would put it aside, but it's unbranded. So we'll just let it go. Okay, bag. Another watch. Aquatech. Right. At least it said something. It's a USB drive. American flag pin. All right. Oh, what's this? First watch. First watch. All right. I'm not sure what that is, but we're, we're going to keep those. That's not to the safe. The safe takes a round one. Okay. This box is super heavy and it was at the top. So, geez, here's a note to you guys. If you ever stack in boxes, don't put heavy ones at the top and light ones at the bottom. Oh my goodness. That is not the way. All right. And this is what we got. Garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. This is all garbage. This is all garbage. Wow. Terrible. 